Hey everybody, uh, it's Bethany McMillan here and I'm going to show you guys how to make some skillet cookies. So we're making chocolate chip cookies today um, and we're going to learn how to cook them in a skillet. So first off we've got to make the dough. So we're going to start by mixing our dough together and it's just a basic cookie dough. Um, it's got a couple different ingredients. We've got flour, um, baking soda, and salt. Um, we also have two different types of sugar. We have plain sugar um, and we also have brown sugar. Brown sugar at the store, they sell either dark or light. You're going to want to get light. Some people like the more molassesy flavor of the dark. If you want that, you can get it. It's going to be a little bit sweeter, um, but most people prefer the, the light brown sugar in their cookies. Um, you're also going to need some eggs, um, butter, vanilla, and if you've got some semi-sweet chocolate chips, that's what we're using today. Otherwise, if you want to put in any tort sort of chocolate chip or small chocolate candy, like um, you could have white chocolate chips, you could have butterscotch, you could have Reese's Pieces or M&Ms. Um, we're just using the regular semi-sweet chocolate chips for today. And so let's go ahead and get started mixing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate our ingredients. We've got some dry ingredients that we're going to put in one bowl and then some other ingredients we're going to put in our glass bowl. So I'm going to start with our dry ingredients. You're going to add a one and a fourth cup of flour. One fourth cup of flour and just a little bit of baking soda. It's about a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So it's very little. I'll throw that in there. And then you're just going to mix that up really good. Get my fork here. Make sure it's really well stirred and combined. Um, and then you're going to set this aside. This is not going to be something you're going to be using right away. We're going to set that aside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing in our sugar. So it is one fourth a cup of white sugar and it is one half a cup of brown sugar. So you should have twice as much brown sugar as your white sugar. And before you do anything else, go ahead and mix that up really good. All right, so when you're all done, it should be pretty even. Um, make sure you stir really good on the bottom of the bowl. Um, you don't want any big piles of one type of sugar on the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add in your softened butter. So this is butter that has been softened. It's butter that's been set out on the counter at room temperature for two to three hours usually um, to get nice and soft. Um, so you need a half a cup, which is just one stick of butter. And then you need four teaspoons. And um, that's a little bit hard to measure out for a lot of people. It is one tablespoon, because your butter will have tablespoon measurements on the side. So one tablespoon and a third of a tablespoon. A little bit hard to cut out, but if you kind of like make little indents with your knife, sometimes you can figure that out and cut it out. Um, if you're not sure, um, go ahead and cut out one tablespoon, one tablespoon, and then cut it into thirds as a pad. Um, and then that'll get you the right measurement. So we're going to add the butter in and then we're going to stir it in until it's nice and smooth. Um, so it does take a while to mix this by hand. I'm using a fork because a fork is really good at mixing. Um, but one thing to remember is if you have a hand mixer at home, um, one of those ones with the two little beaters, it goes a lot faster. Um, and then you just beat it till it's creamy. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get a nice, nice hand workout. All right, so once you got it all mixed in, it should be about the consistency of like a dough. Um, so it look, should look a lot like cookie dough at this point. But we still need to add in a few things. Um, we still need to add in our egg and vanilla. And then we'll be adding in our flour. So if you have your egg at room temperature, that's the best. If you do not, um, that's OK. It's not going to affect it too much. It's just a little bit easier to add in at room temperature. And our recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, and once it's just combined, that's when you're going to start adding in your flour, 
baking soda salt mixture you made earlier. And you just want to do it until it's combined. You don't want to like over mix it. Try and keep the cookie dough inside the bowl. Okay, so that's probably good. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my chocolate chips. I have one cup of my semi-sweet chocolate chips, regular size. You can probably use less chocolate chips than a cup if you have like miniature chocolate chips. Or if you have those M&M minis. All right, and that's it. My dough is combined and it looks great. So I'm gonna actually have to chill this. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 15 minutes at least, um, usually about 15 minutes to an hour, and that gives it enough time to set. So when I cook it, it'll cook nice and fluffy. So let's go ahead and chill our dough. Hey everyone, so once your dough has been chilled for at least 15 minutes, 15 minutes to an hour is usually about good, um, you're ready to cook with it. Now if you don't wanna cook with it now, you can always throw it in the freezer um, and then keep it for a while in there before you cook with it. But um, we're gonna go ahead and cook with ours right now. So what you want is you want about a tablespoon of cookie dough. And so it should make a nice little ball. And you should be able to make 24 balls with this recipe. Now usually you can put multiple cookies here at a time, but I'm just gonna cook one at a time. So I'm just gonna put him right in the middle. I'm gonna kind of press him down with my turner. Sometimes they get kind of stuck on there, so you can just pry them off a little bit. Get back on there. Yeah. It's because my turner has holes in the top. There we go. And now what you want to do is, as soon as you get that in, you want to cover your skillet. So I have a 14-inch skillet. I'm covering it with tinfoil because I don't have a lid for it, but if you have a lid for it, you can just use the lid. Um, then you can kind of watch the cookie. Um, I'm just going to have to kind of guess, and it usually takes about five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through that for you. All right, so um, you might want to check your cookies about a minute early, and it should be a medium-low heat. So if you're smelling smoke, you're too hot, um, you might have burnt your cookie. Um, but go ahead and take a look here, and what you should see, I threw a few more cookies in here just just for fun. So some of them are a little bit different cooking speeds here. But what you should see is you should see kind of a little brown golden crust on your edge of your cookie near the bottom. And that means that it's ready to flip. So let's see if we can't flip our cookie without getting our other cookies squished. Um, and you can see it's got a nice little golden brown crust on it and it's getting pretty well cooked in the middle. Um, your chocolate may swirl a little bit and that's fine. It tastes delicious that way. So we're going to cover this and go see what it looks on the other side. It should take a little bit less time for the second side because it's mostly cooked through. So you should need about three minutes for this. Um, but again, feel free to kind of peek at your cookie every couple minutes and see how it's doing. You can cook some cookies and make everybody else jealous at the campsite because they'll all be smelling freshly baked cookies and you'll be like, ah, yes, the freshly baked cookies that I just made on my campfire. Um, and since the dough needs to be refrigerated, you can just throw it in your cooler. And we just kind of flip this guy. So the edges are definitely, I'm going to just tell you guys, definitely the easiest. Look at, just go. Oh, that one was kind of bad, but that's okay. Cookies taste good, even if they're weirdly shaped. So we're going to cover these ones, let them finish cooking, and we can enjoy them as well. Alrighty, so um, when your cookie is done, it should have a nice shape. You'll have to let it cool for a little bit, but when you open up your cookie, you should see that it's got the little crumblies in it. It's not raw dough on the inside. It should be nicely cooked. And that's because we cooked it on a low heat. Low heat lets the middle cook as well as the ends. It doesn't burn the edge and then not cook the middle. If you have it on too high, you might burn the top and the bottom and then still have raw cookie dough. So you really want to be careful you got that temperature right. Um, but once you got it all done, it is delicious. So have fun, make some skillet cookies. And um, if it's a little too hard, just bake them in the oven. They work just as well in the oven. Um, but it's kind of nice to know that you can make them on the skillet too. See you guys. And then your cookie should slide off and be golden brown on the bottom. Mine got a little bit burnt there. So we're probably going to have to do this again. <laughs> and flip them if you can. Don't do it left-handed. That was terrible. Did it left-handed.
Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for a second. Hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flip our cookie. You might need two turners. They're kind of delicate, so it's a little bit hard. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our cookie and flip them over. No! Come on. <laughs> Look at that. I got that one, that was good. <laughs> And we just kind of flip this guy. So the edges are definitely, I'm going to just tell you guys, definitely the easiest. Look at that. Go, cookies, go. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Power Ranger commercial. Just go. Oh, that one was kind of bad, but that's okay. Cookies taste good even if they're weirdly shaped. Mm -hmm.